wastewater used to go right to rivers from people's houses. And so as they built wastewater plants, they built the stormwater management systems as part of them. During most rainstorms, wastewater facilities treat combined wastewater and stormwater flows. During the heaviest rainstorms, the large amount of rainwater mixed with the wastewater can be too much for the facility to handle. Overflow structures provide a relief valve so that the combined flow doesn't overwhelm the system, allowing some of the water to be discharged to local waterways. If this extra water from all these uh, heavy events isn't allowed to surface out somewhere else, it's actually going to surface in people's homes or businesses, causing a real health and safety issue. There's really a very small amount of phosphorus coming from these CSO events. While combined sewer overflows are not a significant source of phosphorus to the lake, they do threaten clean water in other ways. Overflows can cause high levels of bacteria in the lake, which lead to beach closures in some areas. They tend to happen in the summertime when people want to go swimming the next day and they want to know, is this healthy for my family to go swimming in? And that question would be a lot easier to answer when there are no CSOs at all. We had somewhere in the 200 range of CSO outfalls, just the pipes that come from the collection system to the rivers around the state in the 1990s. Now we have um, less than 100. Unfortunately, the road that's left is the most expensive part of the path. Vermont has a CSO rule that basically requires all discharges have to meet the water quality standards. And so moving forward, you really don't have a certain size storm that's okay to have come out of a CSO. The DEC is requiring all of the municipalities with CSOs to write long-term control plans. And so those municipalities have to write those plans and come up with financing. And then we write that plan into an enforceable order that holds a municipality to those dates. Because it's been a long-term problem that may have a longer term solution to fix it the right way. With the support of their communities and state and federal grants, municipalities have taken a variety of actions to eliminate combined sewer overflows. In 1962, the city uh, first constructed its uh, wastewater treatment facility. Until then, there was really no treatment um, you know, all of the houses and all the buildings went straight to the river. Uh, originally, the uh, Montpelier's collection system, sewer collection system, was constructed with 23 overflow structures all throughout the, uh, or throughout the downtown primarily. We're down to six uh, through all the work that uh, has been done through the 90s. We have two large uh, se sewer separation projects identified within the next two years. It's a very complicated, very expensive issue that towns are facing. You know, we are working through them as quickly as we can, but uh, it, it will take time. I'm hoping, optimistically, that you know, within 10 to 15 years, the city will not have any more overflows. Any of the additional flows that we see during a wet weather event, that's basically just storm water. It's uh, from infiltration through clay pipes, it's roof drains, a lot of it's sump pumps, our actual sewer flows don't really change that much, it's the storm water that's contributing to it. So on this end we have uh, the pump itself as well as the monitoring equipment that constantly keeps track of the level of the flow in here. Uh, whether we're having an event or not, it's uh, being monitored 24-7. So back in 2011 and 2012, the plant went through a pretty significant CSO upgrade uh, to include this 30,000 gallon holding tank to capture any of the overflow that might occur during a significant wet weather event. And essentially, once the event is over, it just gets pumped back into the plant. But the project as a whole still came in a little over a million dollars. So it has to be a whole community effort. It has all been subsidized by the community itself. We've always felt uh, very supported in moving through with these projects. Our hopes are that uh, with the investments that we've made, will continue to improve the water quality of not just the Missisquoi, but uh, the Lake Champlain and Basin as well.